to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student in English at Indiana University here in Bloomington. I study rhetoric and composition. I specifically look at digital rhetoric and vlogs and embodiment and feminism and multimodal composition and how we teach writing and a bunch of really cool fun stuff that if you stick around you'll learn a lot about. So this week we are getting back into the dissertation. Last week and the week before that, we really focused on preparing job market materials, which is a year-long process when you apply for academic jobs. So I'm hoping to start that process next year, but I compiled a bunch of materials because I had to for a teaching award that I'm applying for, and I'm hoping that this will pay off in the long run by having all these job market materials. Regardless, I have taken a step back from the dissertation to really focus in on those and give them my all. So now it's time to get back into the diss. I am nervous and excited and overwhelmed and anxious and all of the big feelings because whenever I take a step back from the dissertation have to get back into it, it's always like... I don't know, learning how to ride a bike again for the first time and you're like, where was I? What am I doing? But I think when I left off, I left myself some pretty good notes of where I was stopping. So hopefully it's less painful than it has been before. Okay, it is later now. It is like 3.50 already. I came home, ate some lunch. Well, I stopped at the post office and ate some lunch. And then I had to just do like a lot of random stuff on my computer. I think something's going on with like the university not processing my fellowship. Um, I thought I was gonna get my money into installments, but everyone is like, no, I just got my money all up front at once for the whole semester. So I feel like something's not right. And I talked about this in the last vlog, but basically the parking office called me and was like, or emailed me and was like, we don't have any record of you being on fellowship. And now I'm having problems with my insurance because your insurance changes when you go from being like a grad student instructor to being on fellowship. So something's, I'm like, not put into a system that I should be in, which is frustrating because I feel like I shouldn't have to deal with these things. So yeah, emailing a lot of people trying to figure that out. And now I'm going to clean up the kitchen because Joanna is coming over today to sort of do like a practice exam, studying for her exams. So we have an oral exam and then a written exam, which is basically a proposal of your dissertation of prospectus events during either the third or fourth year of your program, depending if you came in with a master's or not. And she's in her exam year now. So she has her oral exam scheduled for Thursday. So today we're gonna just talk through some of the readings, talk about like what I think that her committee may ask. She actually has the same exact committee as Megan, which means that she shares two committee members with me. So we're just gonna chat through it, chat about it. And I hope it just like, gives her more confidence going into the exam more than anything. And of course, eat dinner together. So I'm gonna do some cleanup of the kitchen and like the living room area. And yeah, I'll have a little montage of that. Okay, cleaning's done and I really need to take my hair out of this like slick back clip back bun because it's starting to give me a headache so I'm going to take a shower rinse all of this jelly out and then I think I'm gonna read an article I'm hoping to like double dip I am hoping that if I read an article that is on Joanna's exam list that I'm also like potentially using my dissertation that will like I hate the metaphor but like kill two birds with one stone what is like check two boxes with one task like that's a literal thing we need like a better a better metaphor that's not so like aggressive okay have my puppy chow my liquid iv and it's time to get to work
let's make some coffee before my dissertation writing group. I have three minutes to try and wake up. Okay, it is 12 o'clock. I finished the dissertation writing group and it was really hard for me to do work today. I think I'm just feeling kind of sleepy and sluggish. Um, I think it's just like that time in my cycle. I've talked about cycle syncing a lot where I'm starting to like wind down a little bit so I don't feel like as like productive and go, go, go. But that's okay. So I spent the session reading like a 50 page article, 43 pages. And this was probably my fifth time reading it. I knew it was really dense and every time I read it, I'm like, that's harder than I thought. So I feel okay with the fact that I spent like three hours just reading this article and taking like really diligent notes and like leaving questions for myself and like writing little snippets here and there. So the article is from 2004. It's actually the introduction to this book, Writing New Media by Anne Wysocki. And the chapter is opening new media to writing, openings and justifications. And she redefines what new media means as like specifically any text that calls attention to the materiality of the text itself, which is really broad. But also in rereading at this time, I realized how much she talks about like embodiment and identity and self-discovery and all of that is really, really useful for my dissertation, specifically the part that I'm working on right now, which is like the connections between multimodal writing or like new media and embodiment. And I left myself like little comments here, like there's mention of identity and selfhood here that I can connect to embodiment. I highlighted some things. I just use Adobe Acrobat to do this. And she also has like some areas where she bolded her claims, which was really useful, especially in a longer article. And then whenever I take notes on something, I also just like do it in a Word doc too, Wysocki notes, where I copy and paste like significant quotes and I like summarize it, paraphrase it a little bit. These are like prose notes. Um, and then I like will build off of it with some questions that I have for myself. And then what I was really wondering about here was like, what does an embodied dissertation mean? Cause I'm thinking like more creatively about like how I can convey my argument not through writing alone. Cause so much of like my argument is like writing is limiting. Um, and just wrote about like what that means to me and there's notes. So yeah, I feel like this was a good little work session this morning, but I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat some lunch. Okay, it's one o'clock. I finished lunch, watched an episode of Real Housewives, and I really wanna take a nap, but I have a meeting with my advisor at two, so I'm going to put my clothes away and then meet with my advisor and then take a nap. It is a rainy late afternoon slash evening Hi, Pirelli. So I have this lamp on, these little cozy Harry Potter candles, a candle lit, and I'm going to read red, white, and royal blue. Big sigh. I'm actually having like a hard time even focusing on reading because I just feel like really anxious right now about a lot of different things and I obviously don't love feeling this way. Um, so I met with my advisor and everything was like really great in the meeting. Um, my meetings with him usually are like pretty good. I'm anxious for them like when I give him writing, but for the most part they're pretty good. I didn't give him any writing. <laughs> we just sort of talked. I updated him about like where I'm at in the dissertation, told him about like that work that I did this morning. Um, and then we also talked about like a troubleshooting video issue I'm having for like one of the videos that I produced for the teaching award materials. Um, and then we sort of talked about like my timeline here and the academic job process is like a year long process. So I'm planning on like starting that this coming August, so, like not for another year. And he was like, there's a lot of really good jobs out right now, especially for like digital rhetoric, multimodal comp positions. And I was like, well, like I don't feel ready to like be on the job market. And he was like, basically there's no such thing as ready. And like, of course next year I'll have like more of the dissertation done, but like, he thinks that if I see like a dream job or something, I shouldn't pass it up. And so I've been like reading job postings like for tenure track professorships and teaching professors and stuff as they've like come into my inbox through like various email listservs. But a couple weeks ago, it was just like making me really anxious. And I was like, I, I can't look at this because I feel like this was like supposed to be the year that I was on the job market and stuff, but I'm like adding another year to my contract and it's just like a lot. 
and he was like well i think you should still look um and if there's like a dream job i think you should like apply to it and as i'm like looking through this list i've just been like looking on rap map um which is like a compilation of all like the rhetoric and composition jobs for like that job cycle and i don't know how to like say this without like being like emotional or even just like how to say it in general like it's overwhelming to say the least my advisor was like oh there's like a job like near home for me like and there's a lot of jobs in florida this cycle and i'm like i i don't think i want to live there i like florida is a wild place like i just i really miss my family I'm like i can't imagine not living near them but like I am not happy in Florida. Like I, I actually hate it there. Politically it's a mess and I need to live somewhere that like has seasons. And I just feel like really overwhelmed because I know that I'm gonna go through this in a year. And what if like none of the jobs speak to me in a year? Like what if I don't wanna do any of it? And, or like worse almost like what if I do wanna do it and I like don't get a job and I just I'm like brought right back to the place where I was when I was applying to grad school and that was like a really stressful time because I was doing it while I was still in college and I was just like so scared I wasn't gonna get it anywhere and I ended up getting in multiple places and I like I believe that I ended up where I was like supposed to be but I don't know I just I feel really really stressed out and I know it's like a ways away but I just like the dissertation feels like a daunting task and like I don't know I'm just having one of those moments where I'm like what am I even doing right now like okay took a shower took some deep breaths faced on my brother pulled myself together and, and now I'm going to go to dinner with a friend. We're just going to feta a very casual, like, Greek Mediterranean restaurant. So I'm just wearing white t-shirt, jeans, this thrifted bag, and these shoes that are not great for the plantar fasciitis, but they match the bag. Good morning. I am feeling real sleepy today, but I'm going to go to Starbucks. Get a little pumpkin cream cold brew for a little wake up and bring some coffee to Joanna because she just got her exam questions and she needs the caffeine. Been chugging my cold brew. The secret is to get a fourth of an inch, I guess that's what they put on the screen, of half and half in it so it doesn't hurt your tummy as much if you're like me with an overly acidic stomach. And I work the writing center from 1 to 4 today. It is somehow already 10.30. I'm gonna shower, get ready quickly, and then look at this stuff, do some more thinking for like an hour or so, and then before I know it, I'll have to like head over to campus. The way my brain works is like, if I have something in the afternoon, it's like the morning's gone. I just gotta sit around and wait for the thing that afternoon, but I know a lot of people feel that way. So let's shower and get ready. Okay, here's the fit for the day. Just like crimped my hair because it's really like, rainy and humid and gross out. I feel like you figure it's gonna get frizzy anyway, so this is like a good look to like deal with the frizz. I consider putting in a slick back bun again, but I don't wanna deal with the headache. So just wearing this quarter zip, a black sort of like baby tee under in case it gets too hot, and these yoga pants and my new balances. Also, I had like a wildly unhinged dream last night. This is how you know I'm stressed. I often have dreams about like my teeth falling out, which I know means like you're stressed. But in my dream last night, I was like sitting in the back of this minivan. I don't remember who was driving. And like a, one of my bottom teeth just like fell out in the palm of my hand. And I was like, oh no, uh, this isn't good. I'm like bleeding. And then um, I went like that and like all the rest of my bottom teeth were like just falling out my top teeth were totally intact with bottom teeth and i was like we need to go to the hospital we need to go to the emergency room and then my parents showed up and i'm trying to like hold my teeth so they can like put them back in place and the doctor i don't know why we went to the doctor not the dentist but the doctor was like yeah we could do this surgery but it's gonna have to be a while and i was like i just want my teeth back my mouth and i'm just like gushing blood and as always happens in my dreams like no one seems to care uh i'm always just like why does no one care about me but anyway 
Needless to say, I am a bit stressed, but that's okay. I always feel this way when I look again, look at the dissertation again after like taking a break from it for a while. So yeah. Scrambled eggs and slightly burnt toast with jam for breakfast. And I think I'm actually gonna watch a vlog and just sort of chill out um, because I have an hour free of my writing center schedule that I could do work then. Okay, a lot later now, it is already eight o'clock. I'm obviously home from the writing center and I stopped at Kroger and Crumble. I got some stuff to make veggie sandwiches for dinner and I'm gonna chop up just like red onion, tomato, cucumber, stuff like that. So Megan and I can have that. She's on her way home now from her shift at the writing center. And I feel like I haven't seen her much yesterday or today. So like we have a lot to chat about, a lot to download onto each other. We already dipped into these, forgot to do a live taste test but we always cut them using the crumble cutter. This was pumpkin cheesecake. This was the best one. There was banana cream pie, but we put it in the fridge. That was my second fave, but Megan's fave. Then this was Brookie. So half of it was brownie and half is like this chocolate chip cookie. Really, really good. And then this one was also good, but it was just my least fave for the week. It's cookie butter and has a little like cookie butter cookie right here. And yeah, it's a good box this week. Good morning, I'm filming a TikTok morning my life, the remnants of said TikTok. I checked out this book from the library yesterday because this article or this book was referenced in the Waisaki article that I read the other day. And it is making me realize that this literature review that I'm doing about embodied writing, just like embodiment within composition studies and writing studies goes back a little further than I thought. Um, so I'm looking into some things that use like the materialist language, not like dabbling into like new materialism, but just like, I don't know. This I think gives like a succinct history. So I'm gonna read like the intro, the first chapter of this, and then see where I wanna go from there. I have to show you guys the material conditions of writing though. So coffee, candlelit, lo-fi girl on my TV, probably has a box and two little cat houses <laughs> over there but she still prefers to chair. Okay, it is a couple hours later now. I did some reading, some writing, and some thinking for the dissertation, which I feel pretty good about. I want to do like maybe another stint later today, but my brain is like, take a break, you're done for now. So I wrote a paragraph explaining my like rationale for the text I chose for my literature review. Basically, for the literature review about like the multimodal turn within composition pedagogy. I said I'm focusing on texts that are widely cited. I don't really prove that though. <laughs> texts, which I probably will have to later, texts that sort of implicitly or explicitly deal with embodiment, and then texts that are like rooted in pedagogy, not just like digital rhetoric, multimodal um, writing in general. And I feel like it was like decently written, pretty good about that, like 300 words. And then I started to do some more thinking, hi Pirelli, about like how I actually want to like convey my argument. In my meeting with my advisor, we didn't have like a whole lot of time, we had to jump to another meeting, but um, I wish we would have like talked more about this. I basically want to know like how to like not just like make this argument, but like enact this argument. And so I've just been doing some like a lot of thinking and a lot of just like free writing about like what does like an embodied dissertation look like and i ended up like going back and rewatching one of my vlogs where i talked about this and it's like very wild to like i don't know like i i'm too wrapped up in this i like vlog about it but then like i vlog about vlogging and i write about vlogging and i vlog about my writing and i write about my writing and i write about my vlogging and it's like a lot um so I think talking with him or having like a more like a distance view from this could be really interesting for thinking about how I can like make these arguments a bit more creatively and not only creatively but like just better. So often lately I've been feeling like writing is like the wrong medium for this. So more on this potentially later. Um, I've also still been dealing with these issues with insurance. <laughs> it's they're telling me that I don't qualify for insurance, which I know that I do. I had issues with parking, my like name and ID number registered in the system wrong, and I don't really care at this point whose fault it is. I just want to fix it. 
I'm going through like three different offices at IU emailing them like and it's just like the spider-man meme of them like all pointing at each other they're like it's this person's fault it's this person's fault I don't care just like fix it because I need to pick up some medication before I go home and I have to pay the out-of-pocket fee if they don't fix it and it's just annoying the out-of-pocket fee is like $50 instead of like $2 so I can pay it and I'm like grateful for that but like I just shouldn't have to because like I'm they contractually promised me that I would be insured so I just have questions about how this happens. Um, and when I was telling my friend that, he like brought up a clip of The Sopranos. I think it was The Sopranos where someone's like in a hospital room. I've never seen the show. And he's like, how did this happen? And I was like laughing so loud in the library when he showed me, like people were looking at me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take a little break. I feel like going thrifting, honestly, to just like dissociate, so. It's 4.30 now, back home from shopping. I didn't get a whole lot and I didn't want to get a whole lot. I just wanted to like, I don't know, be dissociated. Like I said, I thought I'd be back a little bit earlier, but Joanna texted and she passed her exam with flying colors, which we knew that she would. So she wanted to celebrate tonight. So I thought we we're going to go to dinner, but it's actually been like a change of plans. And we're going to do shoeies on the porch with her and two other people in her cohort kind of who passed their exams recently as well. So it's just gonna be like a joint celebration. So since they're gonna come over, I feel like it needs to clean up just like a little bit, nothing crazy, because I think we're mostly gonna be outside, but I don't know, I just wanna clean up the kitchen. Also, when we were out, I thought that I would get like a little gift for her. I got nothing like crazy, but I got this wine. It's a Storyteller Chardonnay. I've never had it before, but I know she likes Chardonnay and I thought Storyteller was like very cute because a lot of like her research focuses on stories. And I got, a little candle it smells really good and it's really cute too it is apple cider smells very fall and i feel like candle and wine is good because i want to just like relax now that she's done studying she doesn't have to do any of that and then i got like a little card it's really cute it looks like a little makeup like concealer um compact type thing so yeah that's the deal now and we're gonna go to dinner after we do shoeies so i want to shower I think I want to wash my hair and blow dry it, so that's going to take some time. So quick cleanup, then shower. I wanted to paint my nails, I wanted to clean my bathroom, but I don't think that's going to happen today. Also because I have therapy at 8.30, so I need to like rush home after dinner and do therapy. I'm going to drive separately just in case I have to leave early. A lot later now. I have been so bad at vlogging today and yesterday and I feel like this whole week but I have since celebrated with Joanna because she passed and we went to dinner, did some shoebies on the porch and I also found out some exciting news. So for the teaching award that I poured my heart and soul into applying for, I won the department nomination. So basically you have to get nominated by your department and then you compete against all the other departments. So I made it through round one and now fingers crossed that I can win the whole thing, which would be like crazy. My goal was really just to get the department nomination. I mean, I would love to win the whole thing, but I feel very proud of myself for just getting the department nomination. And I also had a therapy call with my therapist for the first time in a long time because she was on maternity leave. Um, and yeah, it kind of wore me out. I feel a little bit like scattered from that. Um, but it was good. It was good to check in, good to catch up. I'm excited to like get into regular therapy again. And I'm like ready to go to bed. <sighs> it's been a long day. And tomorrow I'm hoping that I can get a Tdap vaccination and my flu shot so I can go home and be with my little nephew. But because all this garbage is happening with my insurance, I'm having a bit of a hard time time so i gotta call some people and figure some things out tomorrow but i'll check in tomorrow
Good morning, happy Saturday. I vlogged like two clips yesterday and uh, it, yesterday was just like a continuation of the emotional roller coaster, but everything seems to be resolved now and this is good. Um, so it is a little after noon. I woke up today and just was like, yeah, let's just get after it. Let's clean the kitchen. I cleaned my bathroom yesterday. I just like wanted to get some things sorted out and now i'm making some just like frozen fried rice and some like trader joe's like vegetable dumplings for a quick and easy lunch we haven't gone grocery shopping in a long time so i feel like i've been eating like a lot of takeout and it's probably not the best but i'm going home soon so i'm like i'm about to buy a bunch of groceries right before i leave um so yeah let's cook and then i think i want to paint my nails i got a chrome powder that i'm really excited to try out a little late to the trend um, and then I think the rest of the plan is just to add to this walk today. Okay, here is the nail polish. I just used normal gel nail polish and put the crown powder over it. I think it came out really cute. It was really easy and the powder was only $5 on Amazon. It looks like this, comes with a little brush. I use that end to like rub it in and then that end to like clean the edges off. And I just put space coat on top put it in the lamp again and good to go okay it is about 2 30 now i'm gonna pop out this memory card and get to editing this vlog so if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching i will be back with another vlog soon i'm not sure if i'm gonna take a week off yet or not because i'm gonna be going back home we shall see what kind of vibes there are if i should be vlogging or not but as always follow me on social media subscribe if you're not subscribed already leave a comment i try to respond to all of them send me a dm send me an email any of that guy any of that stuff i love talking to you guys so until next time bye